Hello everyone, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be discussing a topic that's a little bit different here on my channel, but I think it's super important to talk about, and the topic is about toxic people. Before I get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and let's get into it. So what is a toxic person? By definition, anyone whose behavior adds negativity to your life, usually someone who's unsupportive, manipulative, judgmental, and constantly makes you feel bad about yourself. So toxic people come in all forms. It could be your friends, it could be your family, people in your workplace, such as your coworkers, or even your boss, people that you're in a relationship with, whether it's a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a fiance, a husband, or wife. <laughs> There are certain traits and characteristics that toxic people possess and I think it's super important to recognize those traits because I find that those are red flags as well. I tend to steer away from people who have these specific traits. There are a long list of traits and characteristics that a toxic person possesses and that could be a whole video on itself so I'm just going to mention a few in this video. All the toxic people I ever met have this one specific trait and it's that they're very narcissistic. They think the world revolves around them when it doesn't. They have this huge ego for no reason. They think they're God's gift to the world. They are very delusional. They're not in tune with reality. They have this superior complex where they think they're better than the people around them and they just plain out lack self-awareness. Other traits include being manipulative, judgmental, negative, and they're just miserable people. Usually have anger issues and controlling and the list literally goes on. Clearly toxic people don't have many appealing traits and characteristics but at the end of the day they're just plain bullies and they're projecting their issues onto you and they're the ones who need to get help and therapy to fix their issues. If you're still a bully after graduating high school that is literally not cute at all. That just magnifies your lack of character, your values, and your weakness. Because it takes a strong person to self flag put in the work to rectify their faults and to acknowledge their behavior and want to evolve as a person and become a better human being if you're the same person after many years with no growth no change then you chose to stay that way I mean growth is part of the process and it is needed to become a better person no matter who you are <laughs> I've always been quick to cut someone off out of my life like a friendship or relationship because not all friendships and relationships are meant to last a lifetime. I've always been like this at a very young age because I will not tolerate toxic behavior from temporary people. Friends come and go, relationships come and go, so I'm just not the one. I've been around way too many people who think it's okay to belittle, disrespect, be passive aggressive just because they're your friend or you're in a relationship with them and they genuinely think it's okay because they're too comfortable they're really too comfortable with you because you're allowing that behavior and that's just not the kind of friendship or relationship I want to have in my life so I choose to remove myself from that situation when it comes to toxic relationships I think it's very hard for the people in it to recognize that they're in a toxic relationship because usually it's not until a friend or family member tells them their concerns with their relationship and feel like that's not the right person for them or until something bad happens unfortunately that is not love that is not healthy that is not what you deserve as someone who's witnessed so many toxic relationships and it's not only not healthy for you and it's not healthy for the people who care about you to be around it and witness it as well and sadly the people in that relationship relationship won't let it go until they recognize and accept that they're in one because they're just going to keep going back until they had enough and that's when they're going to leave that toxic relationship. Recognizing those red flags is super important in a relationship because no matter all the feelings you have or the time you invested in that relationship, it doesn't need to cost you your sanity, your self-worth. <laughs> 
Your energy also says a lot about the people that you surround yourself with and it's also telling you something about that toxic person. So here's some questions I think you should ask yourself if you are around toxic people and, and maybe this will help you make a decision whether you want to keep surrounding yourself with those people or not. So how do you feel when you're spending time with that person or even after? Are you mentally and emotionally drained after spending time with them? Are they always a negative? Are they constantly putting you down for no reason? Do you prefer to distance yourself from that person or do you get happy when plans are cancelled? Do you get anxiety around them? Do you have to tiptoe around conversation because you don't know what you're gonna get that day. Are they gonna blow up in your face or they're just gonna have another fit? How is their tone when speaking to you? Are they passive aggressive? Are they in your face yelling until they're blue in the face? Do they act like nothing happens after an argument or after a fight and act like everything's normal and smiling your face? <laughs> These feelings are very valid and what your energy says around a person says a lot. So it's very important to be in tune with your energy so I'm gonna get a little bit personal with you guys so the most toxic people in my life have been family members <laughs> So when it comes to toxic family members, it's a little bit harder to deal with. Like I mentioned before, I'm quick to cut off friends and relationships, but when it comes to family, it's a lot harder because, you know, friends come and go, but you know, families for life. So within the BIPOC community, I think issues like this is brushed under the rug and it's very prevalent because at a very young age, we're instilled that family's everything, family's important, family will be there when your friends are are not and you have to put family first and not to say that other communities don't value family as much as the BIPOC community but it's a very cultural thing as well and we're ingrained as a child and throughout our lives that family is important families first family over everything and there's also an aspect of generational trauma that is not talked about and also within the BIPOC community like mental health isn't a priority or it's not as open talk about as other communities and I think it's because the lack of resources the lack of knowledge or just not being open to learning more about it and discussing it because there's just a lot of generational trauma there in the Latino community there's so many families that make excuses for those toxic people in their family and I think we all know somebody who has an uncle an aunt a cousin a brother a mother or father whoever it may be in your family who people make excuses for they're like oh that's just their personality they've always been like that oh they're just having a bad day they keep continuing making excuses for their behavior and it's like no they're toxic point blank period ignoring those issues isn't solving anything if anything it just creates more issues that's why I feel like it causes that generation to generation cycle of it continuing continuing over and over again and you constantly see it throughout different generations and different families because it continues no one is breaking the cycle and it's just crazy to me that people don't actually see that happening when it's happening that's why when it comes to toxic families there's so many people who don't talk to each other and think it's normal there's so many people who move far far away from their family or don't even show up to family functions anymore because of those toxic people in their lives that are family members and then they wonder why those people aren't around personally it took me a couple of years to get to the place where I am today because I've tried being the bigger person I tried to communicate I tried to be empathetic I tried to keep the peace in the family I tried to understand why is this the way it is and guess what it's like a hamster wheel and I just chose to remove myself from these people because it's just too toxic and it's exhausting and it wasn't until I was around other functional family when they had an issue they talked and they were listening they were supportive and they showed unconditional love to each other and I was like whoa the way my dysfunctional family set up it is not the same and it's never going to get to that point because people choose to stay toxic and they choose not wanting to grow or not wanting to change and that's when I just had 
enough and cut them out of my life like yes it's sad yes it hurts but at the end of the day family isn't always blood and i don't aspire to be like them i'm glad i don't have their traits because that's not the person who i want to be and i also find it funny because once you cut people off within your family and when you don't give access to people anymore all of a sudden they become the victim and you're the bad person and it's like no we're not playing these games anymore i know who i am as a person and i'm just not going to continue this hamster wheel of generation to generation trauma and it just ends with me you do what's right for you at the end of the day every situation is different and you get to decide whether if you want that person around in your life or not and maybe you need to set boundaries with that person and, and make it clear where you stand and then if they respect your boundaries great that's amazing but if they continue being that toxic person you know where you stand and, and maybe you just don't want them around anymore and there's also people who just need a break they're mentally and emotionally drained and maybe they need to take time away from them maybe for a couple of months maybe a couple of years and in the future they may want to salvage that relationship with that person but it's up to you and you should do it on your own turn not when someone tells you to and when you're ready so that is also another option that you have right there i believe karma is real you reap what you sow hurt people hurt people misery loves company and all those toxic miserable people can stay over there i'm gonna focus on me and focus on myself and stay in my own lane once you start focusing on yourself loving yourself nothing else matters when no one wants to take accountability there are consequences for your behavior and maybe that means not having access to me anymore and not having me around and you lost that privilege because it's a privilege to have a friendship a relationship with someone and if you didn't appreciate it then then watch it go away if there are many people saying the same thing about you and your behavior it's it's time to self-reflect the problem isn't them the problem is you the toxic people don't recognize their faults they don't accept that they're the toxic person you have to take in account your sanity your happiness and your self-respect it is not your job to change anyone it is not your job to please anyone but yourself it is not your job to seek validation from anyone it is not your job to beg someone to be there the way you want them them to be there it is not your job to teach someone how to be a better human being you have to fulfill these spaces that you may feel empty yourself no one else can make you feel happy no one else is going to give you that self-respect if you don't give it to yourself first only you are responsible for your mental health and your happiness and you have to make that a priority nobody else can do that for you you deserve to be around people who will uplift you support you love Love you unconditionally and trust me these people will come into your life there will be strangers who will come into your life and become those lifetime friends you'll find the perfect match in someone to be in a relationship with you will find a group of people who will end up and feel like family or even creating the family you always wanted I know many people won't agree when it comes to cutting someone off out of their life but what those people don't understand it's not an overnight thing and for people who guilt trip you to continue to have a relationship with someone or continue a friendship with someone after they've hurt you they're actually also part of the problem they're belittling your feelings and your experience and that is also not okay and no one can tell you when to forgive someone or have someone part of your life it's all on your own terms this video can go on and on and on and if you are currently dealing with someone that's toxic in your life i just want to remind you you are love you are important you are not alone you deserve peace you deserve happiness the right people will be placed in your life and show up the way you always wanted them to show up let me know in the comments down below your experience with toxic people in your life this is a safe space no judgments here and let me know any other topics you would like me to cover on my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my next video. Ciao!